In the latest development surrounding Charles Yeo Yao Hui, a lawyer, activist, and opposition politician from Singapore, there are significant concerns about his potential relocation to the Bibby Stockholm Barge, a controversial housing facility for asylum seekers in the UK. This issue arises from Yeo's physical and mental vulnerabilities, including Asperger's, a back problem, and a traumatic near-drowning incident. In an interview with The Guardian, Yeo expressed profound fear of being transferred to the Bibby Stockholm barge, especially in light of a recent reported suicide on the vessel. The tragic incident has reignited controversy and raised questions about the suitability of the barge as housing for asylum seekers. While the UK Home Office defends its use, citing cost-saving measures, critics argue that the barge resembles more of a prison environment than suitable accommodation. Yeo's legal representative, Naga Kandia from MTC Solicitors, has presented medical evidence to the Home Office, emphasizing Yeo's unsuitability for accommodation on the barge. Kandia criticizes the government's implementation of what he deems impractical and inhumane measures, particularly targeting vulnerable individuals such as Yeo. Charles Yeo, a recognized human rights activist and lawyer, voices concerns over safety and trauma associated with the Bibby Stockholm barge. He cites overcrowded conditions and the difficulty for individuals who have survived torture to live together in such an environment. Yeo's fear of being transferred to the barge, coupled with his past experiences, is significantly deteriorating his mental health. The British Home Office spokesperson has reiterated their procedures, stating that all asylum seekers are screened to protect vulnerable individuals and ensure suitable accommodation. They emphasize access to health and social care services, including mental health support. It's important to note that Charles Yeo sought political asylum in the UK amid persecution and imprisonment in Singapore. His legal battles in Singapore include charges of criminal breach of trust, forgery, and wounding religious feelings. Yeo claims to be facing politically motivated persecution, and in July 2022, he was ordered to pay personal costs after challenging death sentences. The current situation raises broader questions about the treatment of vulnerable asylum seekers and the controversy surrounding the use of the Bibby Stockholm barge. As this story continues to unfold, it prompts reflection on the intersection of human rights, immigration policies, and the challenges faced by individuals seeking refuge. Feel free to share your thoughts on this complex issue in the comments below. If you find this information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth discussions on pressing global issues. Your support helps us bring you factual and engaging content.